on, y'all. So before we even head to the studio, man, we're going to be heading to Cam Kirk Studios. You know the home, the second home. So it's going to be a vibe, bro. If you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. Make sure you like below. Let me know what you like about this video. If you already part of the family, man, welcome back, bro. New journey, man. First video of 2024. So I'm excited, man. Very, very excited. Make sure you subscribe and let's get this thing going, man. See y'all soon. Peace. So we got a portrait shoot, two halves of it though. First half is gonna be super clean, going for like a Vogue Essence kind of vibe. Um, and then at the, at the end of each shoot, what we're doing is a video portrait. So basically personifying uh, the vibe of each shoot. So I'm gonna have two different songs I'm going for. I already have them on my phone. And we just gonna go crazy, bro. We gonna go crazy. I appreciate my man, Tell. I appreciate Tell. Tell get me right every time. That's my brother. Oh, A73. And then also, my man Tell is let me borrow his Mamiya. You feel me? Was it 67? Uh-huh. RV67. RV67. You feel me? So it's about to get real active. This is my first time shooting film as well. Let me know what film stock you shooting. Portra 160. We about to go so fucking crazy. It's 2024. We listening to Larry June. It's getting super crazy. And it's about to be the best year of my life yet. He wanted to do with his first look, he wanted to go on a white backdrop and he wanted to use like a reflector because he was going for more so of like portraitry looks. So we started out, had the white backdrop down. I had to do up a B flat for him because I just thought it would be better for him to use like a one light setup. Um, so I was thinking the, the white from the V flat would even out the rest of her face and then with the reflection, it'll get those highlights from up under her chin and it'll look crisp. Okay, boom, you smooth. So the shutter's already in right here. This is your shutter for your, yeah, your trigger. You know what I'm saying? Back here is where you're gonna wind. So every time mine is different, you just don't wind from here. You have to push that and then wind. But I wanna do some test shots to see if the light's going on first. Okay, boom. I like to do that before any time, cause yeah, I don't wanna make, yeah, yeah. Cause I yeah, wasted film before trying that shit. And it plugs into like the front, right? Yep, right there. Okay, boom. Mm -hmm. When you get your subject in focus, what I like to do is kind of move up and down on my subject slowly to see if anything is out of place. You see what I'm saying? So go to different features, see if you move up and down, is anything out of focus? You want everything to be straight, smooth. So that's how you would shoot. Don't ever second guess your focus either. Take your time. Think about it, man, you practicing still. So how you would do a double exposure, you would take a photo of her. Yeah. However you want to set it up. So the first photo, that's the base photo. Yeah. You'll take that first, say you kind of want her a cowboy shot, like waist to high to her head. Yeah. Then you want to get like a nice tight detail of her face, maybe her curves on her face or something. Yeah. So what you would do is after you take that first shot, just put the shutter back down and shoot again. And then wind. That's all it is. Everybody was telling me how heavy this was. This shit low-key heavy. Got, got me busting a sweat underneath the dewy. But I'm liking this shit. We're gonna see how it came out. But I trust my man Tell. He gave me right. I like this. Come on. So after seeing these clean photos, man, and like I said, this was his first time shooting film, so you know, I was really trying to help him understand, like, you know, don't be second guessing your focus, you know, definitely pay attention to detail. Pay attention to the details in the viewfinder so you can really, really understand what's in focus and what's not. So within this, I definitely would like to use a model light just so I can see my subject in frame and everything so I can make sure everything is even in focus because there's been many times where I didn't have a model light and it would kind of be difficult. So 
I would test on digital to make sure, you know, everything is clean, of course. But then also, if I don't have a model, like, it's gonna be difficult to focus. So definitely, if you're shooting with strobes, you try to find something with a model light. If not, what some people do as well, they'll cut on a light or um, even bring a phone in play and use their iPhone to kind of light the subject. Um, I've seen people do it and it worked out pretty smooth, um, but definitely you want to have some light so you can see what you're getting in focus. These came out pretty clean. I like how these, I love the feeling of these. Like the digitals was crazy. So I already knew the film was gonna snap. So I ain't even gonna cap. I really enjoy what, what Mook was looking for, man. Like he kind of searches for uh, the essence of whoever he's shooting with. After this shoot, man, he actually had another shoot the next day. So I wasn't able to come. I actually came uh, at the end of his shoot because I was actually clocking in to work. <laughs> he shot with one of the homies, man, one of my homies, Jazzy, which who is a dope, dope R&B artist out here. I didn't even know he was initially trying to shoot her on film too, but she always gives like, she already gives like this soulful vibe. Um, she's very like an old soul for sure. So, and like she has this short haircut, like she had this cool piercing on her nose. Um, that was real unique, so I knew he was gonna go crazy, so hope y'all enjoy these as well. Back in the day, you know, you have that film, you know, you roll it in, boom, you got your 16 shots, your 12 shots, your 36 exposures. After that, it's it, you know, and once you shoot it, it's done. But you know, you got a digital with me starting off with that. It's just click, 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 click. So you're so used to just more so shooting just to see what you get for actually shooting for what you want. It helps you prep out what shots you desire, what type of style and what look and what poses are you specifically looking for. Because if you don't, and if you just waste all your stuff, it's really just a waste of money, you know what I'm saying? And that's the last thing you want to do. <laughs> so definitely, definitely take advantage. I would say, I will opt for anybody to shoot film who's a photographer, just so you can kind of grow that discipline. But also to, just the emotion you get from those film photos, the feelings it evoke, uh, separate from digital, is two different playing fields, man. But I ain't hating on my digital guys, you know what I'm saying? I just transitioned, but definitely, man, film, film is, film is winning for sure, for sure. If you are new to this video, welcome. My name is Tell. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like below and let me know what did you like about this video and if it helps you out. And also to my family who are coming back, welcome back. You know, we still got things going on and I'm enjoying this process, man. First video of the new year, man, and we just getting things started. So I appreciate y'all tuning in. Let's get it.